This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. How dangerous are you guys when you play like that? Uh, I don't know. I think it was uh, fun to see us be a little more fluid offensively uh, because we've, we've had our struggles throughout the year. And, uh, I couldn't blame this one on Matt Warner because ESPN was doing the broadcast, not game on. But um, I, I just think when we share the ball and we have a pretty good inside-out balance, uh, I think sometimes we're tough to match up with. And then when we're defending at a high level, uh, we, we got a chance. You obviously defend so well in the half court. When you're making shots on the other end, how much easier is it to get back and get set? Yeah, it's kind of the system. Like Everyone used to uh, knock us when we were at Virginia that we would not be very high up in the national rankings with offensive rebounds. But uh, we, we want teams to play against a set defense on most occasions. So uh, our guys are pretty, in, pretty much in the habit of getting back when the shot goes up. But when it goes to the net, just takes a lot of pressure off your defense. How important was Mayo's minutes tonight, especially his uh, defense and, and those steals that he got? And with with no game for at least 10 days, uh, I was going to ride the guys that have had uh, a lot of experience. And uh, so I shortened the bench. And Mayo, uh, he was terrific tonight. Like Not just in his his steals, but his energy. Like Our, our guys, he made great decisions. I think he made it really hard for Sajula because Sajula gets deep on everyone, <laughs> and Mayo, Mayo to his credit, he, he's hard to get deep on. And uh, so I was really proud of him. He, he deserved it. We've, we've talked about Cuffey this week, his struggles offensively, but then for him to be able to come through with a season high in such a big stage tonight, what does that say to him? Uh, I mean, I think, again, you see, because you watch every game, how much confidence we have in him because of his defensive prowess. And the offense, like, we've got so many other guys that can make or that can score 10 double figures, 20 on a given night, that I think he was his own worst enemy because he put so much pressure on himself. So it was when the first one went in, I think he, uh, he probably had a sense of relief and said, finally. And uh, from there, he wasn't hesitating shooting the next ones, which is good. This senior class has accomplished so much, a special group. Do you feel? <laughs> a sense of pressure, responsibility, just wanting to get them back to this point. Absolutely. I, I'm telling you, this was way harder than last year. No, no one expected us to be in the tournament last year. and uh, I was on the internet looking at all the bracketology stuff uh, with a week or two to go in the season, and maybe we were in one out of every 20 brackets. But this year, everyone, including Joe Lenardi, who I really like, um, he, uh, everyone had us as the team advancing. So, uh, look, our guys see that too. And absolutely, there was, there was a lot of pressure. But uh, I'm exhausted right now. I didn't sleep very much. But I'm really, really pleased and feel blessed that this group gets to, we get to share our experience a little bit longer because they're, they're a fabulous group to be around. What did you learn about this team dealing, managing those expectations? You spoke about it Friday with the fourth quarter <coughs> start, the talk of maybe going undefeated, maybe running the table in the A's sign. What was the biggest thing you learned about this team dealing with those expectations? Uh, they're, they're human. I learned that they're human, but I learned that it takes a lot to, uh, to keep this group down. They're, they find the positive, and they roll up their sleeves, and they, they are committed to the process. That doesn't happen with this demographic very often. We, uh, we coach in an age or raise children in an age where sometimes instant seems to be better, and if it doesn't happen right away, you, you kind of give up on the process. And it's a great life lesson for all of us. That's why I'm saying or said so many times, this group inspires me. Uh, they, they just have a commitment to just trying to pursue the very best version of themselves. Richie, what kind of settling benefit was the, were those two threes by Darius? Uh, yeah, important. Like, again, there's a tendency to look up at the scoreboard. You hear the the uh, the worry and the, the fans. Uh, but, again, Darius is capable of making any shot from anywhere once he's inside the half court, once he's inside the front court. So uh, we give him a lot of freedom. You've seen us. If you watch this, he's missed a few of those on occasion. But uh, I'm confident he's one of those guys that every time I th he shoots it, I think it's going in.